All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this incredible channel. Hope you are all keeping safe and staying out of trouble. It's a beautiful day. How are you all doing? Thank you for coming by again to watch what I have to uh, just to about today. Thank you so much. Thank you for so, the subscription so far. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you've not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, okay? Also click the um, the bell icon, all right? So you can receive notification when I drop a video on this channel, all right? Now today, uh, um, we're gonna be going through how to uh, add um, liquidity pool on PancakeSwap. Um, just a few days back, um, PancakeSwap actually released a statement that you are migrating from V1 to V2. Then this is the platform where we're going to be having auto compound for the uh, uh, staking pool and other for the liquidity pool. They're going to be increasing APY. Okay, it started uh, yesterday, but I was on hitch. But today it's been sorted and it's going out live. So I want to walk you through how to add liquidity pool on pancake swap. All right, just follow me, sit back and relax as I walk you through. And um, what you need to you to before this is you need your um, BNB, okay? I believe you know this already. Before you can do anything on Smart Chain, you need BNB, Smart Chain BNB, all right? Then after that, uh, there's a video where you can get it on Binance and bring it on to Trust Wallet, all right? So if that is done, then uh, also we have some tokens. You, um, So many people have tokens you are not using. They are just lying there in your Trust Wallet. Now is the, the best time to put them at war so that you can earn more. If you add liquidity pool, you're gonna be earning cake. Okay, if you add, for example, you put in uh, uh, what we're going to be doing today, anyways, the pair token pocket and BUSD, I will supply these two and I'll be earning cake. All right, so without wasting much time, let me just go straight to what I have to do to show you. All right, now this is what I will be pairing this token pocket and the BUSD. All right, now it just went live on the pancake swap, the from migration from V1 to V2. Okay, so now if you've got these already uh, and you have token pocket, you have BUSD or any of the other tokens you, you have, I will show you where to search. If it's available, then you are good to go to add it in the liquidity pool. All right, so for all things you need to do is to go to the DAB browser. All right. Once you get to the DAO browser, just look for uh, the pancake swap. Okay, go to the new DAO's uh, category. Then you're gonna slide to the left. Okay, search for pancake swap. Is it here? I'm gonna click. All right. Now, when I click, it's gonna uh, buffer. Okay, when it's here, and then this is the plus I'm gonna be using. Now you can see the information here on the home page. Okay, and now they released a statement that if you have LP before, you have to unstake to the new uh, uh, V2, all right? If you're still holding it in the V1, you will not be receiving any reward, okay? So you first have to unstake, then you bring it on to um, uh, V2. It's so clear, it's so straightforward. So now the one I'll be doing today is live the pair, that, be, that is a, a TPT, token pocket, uh, token and um, BUSD, that is a stable coin, all right? Now, this is, you can read this for you say you, um, um, they said action required, okay? Action required for all LP token holders, okay? Uh, you must complete migration if you want to keep earning from any pancake swap LP tokens and pancake swap firms, okay? All LPs will be migrated to a new upgraded contract. Over several hours starting at five o'clock on April 23rd UTC, okay? This is what it, uh, they ask you to do if you already supplied before, then you have to migrate it to new platform. So let's go straight to business. Now I'm going to first go and search my <clears throat> um, uh, liquidity pool peer. All right. Now all I need to go do is to first come to the firm. Okay. If it's live already, first you have to confirm if what you want to do is live. Okay. The pair is available. Now let's wait for this to buffer. Then we search. Okay. <clears throat> Let's wait for some seconds. Okay, it's buffering. Now, now, all you need to call, do is to come to the easy search here. Just click here. Okay, 
Then once you click that, then I'm going to type T P T. Okay. That is token pocket token. That is, is live. All right. Now the APR is 3424.59%. Okay. Now it's live. Now this is how you're going to search for anything. You want to search for uh, BNB peers, BNB. Okay. It's going to give you a list. Okay. Of the pairs you can do. Okay. This is how to do it. Now I have chosen the one I want to do that is uh, TPT and um, BUSD. Then all I need to do now is to go back to this uh, menu bar. Then I'm going to click uh, the trade here. Okay. Then I'm going to click liquidity. All right. Now just follow me uh, with attention. Okay. Now this is where I'm going to add the pair. Now look at this. They said add liquidity. Then you're going to click here. Okay, once you click here, this is where you are going to set your pairs. Now, by default, BMB smashing will be here. So I'm going to pick here to search for the token I want to pair. Now, this is the uh, TPT. Or if it's not there, just type it here. All right, TPT. Okay, it is there. I select this. All right, now for the second pair, that is BUSD. Same way, I'm going to come here and type BUSD, all right? It's there. Then I'm going to click it. Boom, it's there. So now, it is now left for me to decide how much of my TPT I want to stake in the pool, okay? For example, I have this, my balance here, 146 uh, BUSD, then 6,118 TPT, okay? I want to do, for example, 3,500, okay? Correspondent BUSD will be around, it will be one, 126 BUSD. Okay. Now, every anytime you add uh, something at the top, it's going to give you the equivalent for what it's going to be pairing at the bottom. All right. This is how it works. So you don't need to add or put anything here. Anything you change here is going to affect what is at the top. Anything you change at the top as well, we're going to affect what is at the bottom. All right. This is how it works. They have to be 50 50. Okay. That is how it is, okay? After that, you're gonna come here to approve. Now, let me check again if everything is fine now, okay? I want to do 3,500 and this will give me this and then I'm saved, all right? Now, I'm gonna approve this TPT. Click approve, all right? <clears throat> and the buffer, then I'm gonna click this. They're gonna charge me <clears throat> 12 cents, you can see here, all right? I'm gonna click it, okay? Then I'm gonna set my <clears throat> Security pass, okay, it's approving. Wait for some seconds. For some seconds, let it go through. Now it's done, okay. For the approval for the TPT, it's done. Now I'm gonna do for the BUSD as well. Let me approve this as well, okay. Same 12 cent are gonna be charged. Okay, let me go to my pass. And this is done as well, okay. And it's going through. way for you to finish some seconds now it's gone all right so once you approve both uh, tokens then you are going to supply all right without supplying it will not be effective you will not be affected so to say in the uh, pool all right so all you need to do here so look at the summary here this is the summary I, I state this against this okay all right now I'm going to click supply all right, now this is my summary. Okay, now you're gonna check this, confirm. I stake uh, these 3,500 TPT and these, all right, uh, BUSD. Then I confirm my supply, all right? Then I'm gonna, then again, I'll be charged 51 cents. I'm gonna click approve again. Then I'm gonna go to security, then for the approval, then it's done. Okay, then it is done. Now you wonder where will you now finish it up? Okay. Wait for some seconds, please. Let it go through. <clears throat> now look at this summary here. Um, okay. Now it's at the bottom here. This is not allowing you to see well. Look at it, what I have here. Okay, this is the, the summary. Okay, this is my uh, position in, in the pool. Okay. This is, I stake this BUSD against this TPT. Okay, once that is done, then I will now go to, now look at this, it's been deducted from my 
uh, balance, earlier balance, okay, that you saw before, around 6,000. Now, if you minus that from 3,500, then this is my balance. And here as well, okay, it has been deducted, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do that, go to the farm, all right? Once you keep, go back to the home button here at the top uh, left corner, okay? Then scroll and go to farms, all right? Now, once you get to the farm, let me just, just wait for a few seconds for it to buffer. Okay, a few seconds. A few seconds now. Good. Now we are here now, okay? Like I said before, you all you need to do is to search here, okay? TPT. I'm going to search TPT. What I staked, okay? Now my peer is here, okay? What I did there, okay, is going to appear here, okay? All right? So I'm going to enable this. Okay. Let me okay, enable. Okay. Now, you're going to be charging me 16 cents. Okay. Let me go to the security. Okay. Let's wait. Okay, now it has brought my uh, uh, my stake pairs here. Then I'm gonna click this. Okay, this is it here now. All right, now it appear here already. Already. So how much I'm gonna stake? Then it's gonna be maximum. I wanna do maximum. All right. Now this will be here because it's a lot of zeros at the front. That's why these other figures are not showing here. Okay, it's already there by default. All right. Then I'm gonna click confirm. Okay, now they're going to be charging me 50 cents. I approve. I go to, through the security. Okay, it's approving. Pending confirmation. Let's wait for some seconds. Some seconds. Some seconds. Okay. All right, it is done, okay? Now it has started yielding for me. I have supplied this, okay? You can see it here now. If I want to add again, I'll click here. If I want to remove, I'm gonna click here. But now it is there. Now you can see it's changing. It's already earning cake for me, okay? All right, so this is how to uh, supply liquidity pool, okay? Now, this is it. You earn cake when you supply in the liquidity pool, all right? So, this is how it works. It is changing. You can see here now from 00 now to uh, 0 0.003 USD, okay? The value of the cake that will be earned, okay? Now, let me just show you again. Before, when it was launched, this was 13,000 APR because people are coming into the pool. It started reducing now I, I, I entered at around 6, 690. Now it's dropped again to 686. So the more people come in, the more it will drop, all right? So you can take advantage of you. Search for any other, okay? You want any other um, token you like, search for it here. Go for the pair if you have the token supply, all right? All you need to do is to be patient with it. With time, it's gonna give you uh, great rewards, all right? So that is how to supply liquidity pool on pancake swap, all right? Using the trust wallet, maximize every opportunity to earn crypto, all right? You can see it's changing, it's increasing bit by bit. So that is it. Let your money work for you. This is way to make passive income effortlessly, all right? This is what I have to share with you today. In summary, okay, you're gonna check your uh, token you wanna pair, okay? Once you have that, 
then you go to the DAB browser, then you look for um, Pancake Swap, click it, okay? Once you click, once you finish browsing, uh, then go to your, uh, to the menu bar, then click the farm, all right? All right, let's wait for it to buffer. Then all you need to do first is to search the pair you would like to supply, okay? Let's wait for a few seconds. Now here, okay, you're gonna search here. The token you like, you want to supply that is you have in your wallet if it's available, okay? For example, let's say um, BNB, okay? BNB is here. You will see the list of BNB pairs. It's a long list, okay? Pick any one, supply, and that is it. When you do that, just come to uh, the menu bar again, click the trade, all right? Click liquidity, all right? Let's buffer. Let's finish, then add liquidity, okay? Then add the pair here. Put the first one here, put the second one here. It's gonna give you the equivalent of each, okay? Once you do that, you're gonna see, uh, approve this, uh, each of the token you approve, then you supply. Then once you finish that, then you come to the uh, firm, all right? You're gonna come to the firm. Let's wait for a few seconds. Few seconds, few seconds. Good. Once you come to the to the firm, okay, then you search here again for the exact same token pair. All right. Example, I said uh, BNB, right? BNB. Okay, that is it. Then you're gonna click the pair. Okay. Once you click it, it will show you automatically where it is. Like I already did in the this video. All right. So that is how to add liquidity in on pancake swap to end cake all right so thank you very much for coming by to watch this video if you have any question please drop it in the comment uh section all right and i will be glad to uh give answer based on my knowledge all right thank you so much please if you've not subscribed yet please kindly subscribe all right and um, stay out of trouble and keep safe thank you so much God bless you all.